Hey there, let's do some more eyeshadow. Um, this is actually one of my new favorites. This is actually palette six. We've got two new palettes, palette six, palette eight. Um, palette six is more my speed because it is some pinks, some browns, but the more pinks and mauve. So it's more my speed. Palette eight is more, um, neutrals, which I don't typically wear a lot of neutrals. I try, I try. I just personally don't think they look good on me. They say that palette eight looks good on everybody. I don't have it yet. I didn't buy it. Um, but I know me and I know that I don't prefer neutrals. So I did palette six instead because I I wear a lot of pink. Like if you look at my closet, I am more pastels. I'm pinks, I'm blues, I'm purples. Um, I am more into palette six. So we're gonna do palette six today. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a little bit of the brown mixed with a little bit of this like mauve color. I'm gonna use those two shades combined as my transition shade in my um, like crease up into my eye brow bone area um, because I have the hooded eye. So I'm gonna take it, take it a little bit higher up into the bone section of my eyes. And then I'm gonna do um, this mauve color in the V on the outer section of my eye. And then I will do this light pink on the eyelid. So those are the colors I'm going to do. Um, and just for your, um, your reference, I'm going to do enthralled mixed with impressive. So we're going to do again, enthralled and impressive. That's the brown and the, the mauve, um, like sparkle. Those are going to be my transition color. And then we'll do the the dark mauve is blazing, that's this color. And then we'll do delightful, oh that's cute. Delightful will be in my eye lid. I already have on the eye primer and I already have on my nude tone all over my eyes. So I've already done that. And as typical, I don't have on my base, my foundation, I typically will do that later. Um, I have three different brushes for the three different colors I'm gonna use. And then I have a blending brush. I have a dip and draw eyeliner in blue cause there's a little bit of blue in the shirt um, as well as the pink, the mauve, a little bit of green. So I have a dip and draw in blue and then I have my two different mascaras. The Twisted, which you get for free if you spend $75. And then I have my favorite 40. So that's what we're going to be doing. So again, I have three different brushes for my three different colors, blending brush to blend it all, and then eyeliner mascara. That's what we're going to do. Easy peasy with my um, palette six shades. So we're going to, like I said, do um, a mixture of the brown and the sparkle light mauve. And I'm just going to dip in here into the boat into the two colors and then we're going to um like i said just do it in the transition shade and same as we did before we're going to do it in a windshield wiper motion until you're comfortable with the like darkness if you will or the lightness and then you can always blend it if you need to, so you can see the difference. I do have, um, you know, you can see the little bit of brown in the two, the two eyes. So I've done my left eye and we're going to match it on the right eye. So again, we're just going to dip and match it. And then, you know, tap off the excess if you um, if you will, tap off, yeah. 
And then again, just windshield wiper motion. And like I said, if you aren't a steady hand, you know, rest your pinky on your cheek and get that nice steady hand and swipe back and forth. And like I said, I do a little bit higher on my brow bone because of my hooded eyes. If you don't have the hooded eyes, you don't need to do as high as I did. You know, you can keep it a little bit lower um, in your, you know, transition because um, for me with the hooded eyes, you can't see it. Um, see the color with my eyes open if I don't go um, higher up. And like I said, if you get some on your cheek, um, wipe it off with your hand or a Q-tip or like I said, we'll cover it up with foundation, you know, later on when I do foundation. So there we go. I use a little bit wider, a little bit bigger um, brush to do you know, the transition because that's a little bit bigger area. So I, I put a little bit more color. So I typically will use a bigger brush, a little bit bigger blending brush, if you will. Now I'm typically gonna use like a little bit smaller brush because we're not gonna use a whole lot of the, the mauve color, which again, it's blazing. So again, we're just gonna tap it a little bit into the color, tap off the excess, and then just get it into a V on the outer corner. And again, I'm doing a little bit higher up onto the brow bone because of my hooded eyes. You can keep it really, um, you know, lower on your eye if you, if you need to, or if you want to, if you don't have um, the hooded eyes. And then I'm just blending. You, know, you can do it a circular motion. You can just blend it in if you want. And then you can see the mauve color, you know. You can notice it, obviously, on this eye. And then we'll wipe off, you know, the excess. And I, you really want, with hooded eyes, you really want to get it in a little bit um, swooping up motion. Like, I really want to get my V so that it's not, like, a V down, I really kind of want my V up so that it really opens up my eyes, if that makes sense. So I, I really want to get my V so that it's, it's swooping up more on my outer part of my eye. So that, like I said, it really opens up my eyes instead of closes off my eyes. Especially now that we're all wearing masks and that's all people are seeing is your eyes. I really want to, oops, there goes my eyeliner. Um, you know, I really need to accentuate my eyes since that's all people are seeing. You know, they're seeing your smile with your eyes. They're seeing your expression with your eyes. Um, they're seeing your smile. So that's, that's what they're seeing. So I really want to make sure that I am opening up my eyes. And if I, I didn't bring up my, my nude um, color that I did all over my eyes. I forgot that downstairs. Um, but if I did my, this mauve color too dark, I could take that, um, the nude color that's all over my eye and I could use it over the mauve color and tone down that mauve color. The mauve does look a little dark right now, a little bold, but I think once I get on my mascara and I show that I have some lashes, it'll it'll really um I don't want to say hide the mauve, but it will it'll mask the mauve a little bit and you won't notice the mauve as much because then you'll see that I have lashes if that makes sense. So now I have on the brown, I have on the mauve. Now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do this lighter sparkly mauve on the eyelid. And we're just gonna tap it 
into my eyelid. We're not gonna swipe. We're going to tap or press into my eyelid. Really, there's no um, tapping or swiping of eyeshadow except the windshield um, wiper motion that we do with that brown. And then what I'm going to do too is do a little bit of this shimmer directly under my eyebrows, real close to my brow line which will again kind of help open up my eyes a little bit. So real close, just directly underneath my eyebrows. I'm sorry that I'm not looking at you. I'm looking into my phone. And again, it's directly under my eyebrows, just a little bit of a swipe and we're gonna blend that out. And again, that's going to help, um, help just open up my hooded eyes. You can do a little bit of a shimmer, not a lot of a shimmer. Um, typically you'd probably want to do a matte underneath of your eyebrows. Um, like I could have done, I could have used this color instead i had a i had this color on my brush so i use this color but typically you know you probably would want to do more of this this you know matte white directly underneath your brow bone there we go my eyes are done except for eyeliner and mascara like i said a dip and draw the dip and draw eyeliner is liquid Super easy to use. Don't be afraid of liquid eyeliner. And again, with hooded eyes, you want to do, um, I could do a real thin line from my inner corner to my outer corner, but I typically will just do from the center of my eye out. But like I said, I could do a real thin line from the inner to the outer just a personal preference. And then same with under. I typically don't wear any eyeliner, any eyeliner under my eye, but if I did, I would keep it from the center of my eye to the outer instead of doing completely under my eye just to open up my eye with my hooded eyes. And then that does typically dry pretty quick. Um, and like I said, I have the, the dip and draw in a blue. And then if you need to clean up any, any boo-boos, Q-tips are your friend. There we go. I talked about our, our um, Twisted Mascara. There's actually two brushes. I like it because of the, um, you have a typical, you know, mascara wand, and then you have a little itty bitty wand. I love the little itty bitty wand for separating and really coating every single um, lash. I use the Twisted just strictly for that personally, because I am in love with our 40. Our 40 is my favorite. So I will use the Twisted just for um, the separation. But it's the Twisted Mascara has become a cult favorite. Like people swear by it, people love it. I just, I don't know, I, I love our 4D. But you can see the huge difference already with just one coat of the twisted like it is there is a huge difference already with just one coat like it really does separate and coat every single lash like it is awesome for that and then i will typically use it on the bottom lashes as well 
I think I've talked about this before. I read once that when you are over 40, you're not supposed to put mascara on your bottom lashes. Completely and totally disagree. I don't know why that was, but if I don't have mascara on, you can't tell that I have lashes at all. So I completely and totally disagree with that because I want to see that I have lashes. Um, otherwise I look naked. I feel like I'm naked without my lashes. So again, I just put a little bit on to again, coat every single, every single lash. And then I'll, I'll go over the bottom lashes with the 4D as well. So this was using the little bitty wand that, like I said, coats every single lash. Have I stressed that enough to you today? Have I said it enough times to you? So again, they, two in one. Here's your big wand. And then twist off just the top. And there's your little wand. So now we'll do the big ones. And I'm going to get as close to my lashes as possible. And we do a long stroke out, which will really help elongate the lashes. You know, so if you get as close to your lash line as possible and do a nice long sweep out, it's going to really coat your lashes and sweep them out and help um, like drag them out and make them longer as you're sweeping your mascara wand out, if that makes sense. So you can tell I have one coat on the left eye versus the right eye. And now we'll do the right eye. So there's no um, funky trick. I typically don't curl my lashes. I know some people do use a curling um, instrument for their lashes, a curling wand. I don't. Some people do. I do comb my lashes. Like I already did comb them. Like when I comb out my brows every day, I do comb my lashes so that I do try to do a good job already of separating every, every lash. So I did do that. I do have, like if I ever show a picture of my, my, basement like where I shower and, and typically will get ready. I do have a curling wand. Is that what it's called? I get an eyelash curler. I do have an eyelash curler down there, but I don't um I don't use it. But it's down there only because I bought it because it's purple and sparkly. So I had to buy it. It called to me. So there we go, done. And again, I know this takes forever. This is 19 minutes. It shouldn't take 19 minutes to put on three colors of eyeshadow and some mascara and eyeliner. But I wanted to explain and talk about what I was doing um, and why I do my eyeshadow a little bit differently for my hooded eyes versus what you would do normally. So you can tell now with mascara on that it does, um, you know, draw my eyes up a little bit and you can see my you know that mauve color a little bit it's not as pronounced as it was um without the mascara but you can see it um so there we go there is palette six which like i said i wear a lot of pink i wear a lot of mauve um so i am in love with palette six okay there's palette six Take care. Bye-bye.